So here we want to talk about uh, a unit vector, and I want to show you an example of a unit vector. So the objective here is to find the unit vector which goes from point A, B, so it, it's or a long line A, B. And by the way, definition of a unit vector, just in case you had forgotten, uh, a unit vector is defined as a vector whose magnitude is equal to one unit, be it one newton, one uh, foot or one meter. So here uh, I want to find the, this unit vector along line AB. So I'm going to uh, first find uh, or uh, determine the uh, coordinates of point A. So point A has the coordinates of 1, 0, and negative 3. And then similarly point B has coordinates of negative 2. So that's the x coordinate, 2 y coordinate, and 3. So the first thing we want to do is to actually define the position vector which points from A to B. So that would be this vector which I'm going to call it RAB, position vector from A to B. And the way it's done, you figure that out, is that you actually point A is the initial point and point B is the final point. And what you have to do is to subtract each coordinate X, Y, and Z of the initial from the final. So that would be, remember, B is the final, A is initial. So that would be starting with the X, minus 2, minus 1, I. Remember, I is the unit vector along the X axis. And then similarly for the Y, we have 2 minus 0, J. That's a unit vector along the Y axis. And then finally with the Z coordinate, we have final 3 minus and minus 3, K. And K, remember, is the unit vector along the z-axis. So when you clean this up and simplify it, the position vector RAB becomes a negative 3i plus 2j and then plus 6k. So remember, this is a unit vector, uh, this is a position vector, but I want the unit vector. So first, what is the magnitude of this vector? The magnitude of this vector is determined magnitude of this position vector RAB, as you guys recall, is basically taking each component, squaring it, add them up, and then take the square root. So take the square root of what? Negative 3 squared plus 2 squared and 6 squared, the x component, y component, and z component. So when you add these up, you get 49. Uh, and the square root of 49 is 7. So the length of this vector or the distance from A to B is 7, 7 meters in this case. So let's now move to the next page. So recall that RAB, the position vector, was, uh, I believe, was minus 3i plus 2j and plus 6k. And the magnitude of this now magnitude, you could write it actually as RAB with an absolute value or in, inside the absolute value. And that's the magnitude, which is 7. So now what is position vector from A to B? Position ve vector from A to B is simply defined as, we call it UAB, obviously U for unit. You have to take this position vector RAB and you divide it by the magnitude of it which is 7, so magnitude of AB, okay, magnitude of RAB, so that would be negative 3i, so the position vector negative 3i plus 2j plus 6k, right, that goes into the numerator, RAB, divided by the magnitude, which is 7, so actually you could leave it like that, but you could actually divide by 7 each uh, component, so negative 3 over 7, i plus 2 over 7 j and then plus 6 over 7 k. So that's the unit vector uh, between uh, the unit vector uh, along line a b and if you actually look for the magnitude of this now remember unit vector is defined as a vector whose magnitude is, is equal to 1. So if you do a square root of 3 7 to square 2 7 to square 6 7 to square, you end up getting 1, which is the magnitude of a unit vector. A unit vector should have a magnitude of 1.